Hey everyone, welcome back to Old World Home. I am going to take you guys along with me over the next day or two as I prepare our downstairs basement level. We basically use our basement living space as a play space throughout the year, but also a place to house guests when they come to stay. I'm going to just kind of spruce it all up so that we can welcome them in a refreshed and restocked space. So like I mentioned, this is definitely a play space for my children throughout the year, which is wonderful. And I've really pared it down to basically like gross motor skills, like gymnastics bar and a mat and trampoline and they ride bikes down here. And then our play kitchen. That's pretty much the only toys that are down here. And then we do have a crafting space. I just needed to kind of tidy up the play area and I just folded up the mat and the trampoline and put that in a closet that we have here that pretty much remains empty for the most part because I like to leave that space for guests when they come. They have an area where they can hang things and I just don't wanna fill it up with a bunch of stuff that I would then have to move when they come. So we don't really need the space, so it's really great to have that available to them and then I can just store away those big pieces when we need to. Other than that, it was really just about getting the whole space clean, swept, vacuumed, and mopping the floors. So we do have a big sectional. I like to move all those pieces back so that I can really clean under them. There's always little toys that wind up underneath them. So it's just good. It's a good incentive, I should say, when guests come because I really feel motivated to clean underneath them, which if I'm being perfectly honest, that's pretty much the main times of the year that I do clean under these couches. Otherwise, it's just, you know, little food things from the kitchen and such that get caught under there. So it's just good to go through, lift them up, clean underneath, and then go ahead and vacuum all of the area underneath the rug as best I can because part of it is kind of held down by the daybed that's there but I sort of lift it up and vacuum underneath it and vacuum on top of it, just get it all nice and clean and fresh for when guests come. We do have this sort of like console TV table and this is a main space that I like to lay out items for guests when they come over. So I definitely wanted to clean that off and wipe it down so that that is ready and available for them to use. So here is the little console area set up for them. And I wanted to just kind of show you some things that I've laid out. So I do, I did get a 12 pack of water. I will go ahead and probably open that and just lay them out. And then I got them just a couple of little essentials maybe they forget or maybe just something that they might like to take with them so just like a little mouthwash and some toothbrushes and toothpaste a little lint roller some of these little flossing picks some chapstick some q-tips and some mints so all that is just laid out for them again if they don't want to use it they could just take it home and you know just something that if they should need it this is a little backup for them. And then I always like to lay out some tissues as well. And this is that little coffee maker. So they can just fill it up in the back and I will lay out a couple mugs here as well and the sugar. And then just all the little K-cups are here. And then the remote for the TV, which is right up there on the wall. And then I like having a little lamp as well. We have overhead lights in this room that you can dim. And we also have some lights on the wall there, some sconces. But I just think lots of options for lighting is a nice touch. So that's just a little simple light you can flick on and off. And then it's still pretty clear if they wanna lay things out or if they wanna move that to the bathroom, you know, whatever they wanna do. Something else I wanted to spruce up while I was already down here cleaning was to finally get a coat of paint on the back door that we have here in our basement. So I just grabbed some paint I already had on hand. It's just a simple white paint and primer. So I just gave that a really quick coat just with a brush. I wasn't even trying to be like super perfect about it. I just wanted to get a coat of paint on it. And then later, about an hour later, I followed up and did a second coat. And I used a little caulking that I had on hand to fill in a little bit of cracks. We would like to do a better job kind of finishing this out completely. 
but for now it looks so much better just a couple coats of paint and it looks so much fresher and more inviting so we do have a day bed in this room we also have a pull out couch bed which is nice that i can fold it up and put it away when we're not using it but the mattress that is on it is really terrible it's you could just feel every spring in it so we actually wound up getting we've done a few different things over the years but this year we actually picked up just off of amazon a tri-fold mattress so it did come in a box and you open it and it does expand so right now it's on the bed and it's needing a little more time to expand it said it can take anywhere from like two to three days to fully inflate but the beauty of it is that i can fold it in thirds and store it away better we have had just like full-size mattresses that we've put on top of the bed but then you know what do you do with the mattress when you're not using it we've had that issue so the beauty of this is that i'm going to be able to fold it in thirds and i'm going to actually get a carrying case for it there's a few different models that i've seen some came with a bag and some didn't ours did not but i am still going to get one of those bags that way everything can just store away and stay nice and clean and neat for when we have guests again. The other thing I definitely like to do is pretty much wash everything because this is a room, again, my kids play in all year long. So I like to wash all of the bedding, the comforter, the duvet cover, blankets. I wash the physical pillows that they're going to be sleeping on, just the whole pillow itself and the pillow cover. Just make sure everything that they're going to be sleeping with and kind of interacting with is really freshly clean and has that fresh laundered scent for them. Something else that's a nice little touch, I think, when you have guests over is to have either fresh flowers or some sort of greenery for them to enjoy. So depending on the length of their stay, I think flowers are beautiful, but you don't want them, if they're staying a longer time, you don't want them to have to deal with the flowers dying and needing to change water or potentially throw them away. So if you have long-term guests, I think just a house plant is a nice touch, just to add a little bit of life. But if they're just staying for a day or two, fresh flowers definitely are the way to go. All right, so here's the whole space all ready for guests. When you come down the stairs here, this is sort of the kids' crafting area. So we have their table all cleaned up and put away and their crafts put away. And that is the door that I painted looking so much better. And then we sort of head back. This is the laundry off to the side here. This is just utility. So laundry, they're of course more than welcome to use. And then we just really uh, cleaned up the kids' play kitchen, put everything away. And then, like I mentioned, all their gross motor things are tucked away in the closet. This, unfortunately, I can't break down any further, so it's just gonna stay here. And honestly, sometimes people just drape things on it and kind of make it useful. But the trampoline and the mats are back here. And then plenty of hangers for guests to hang things. A little room on top if they want to put something up there as well. And then this is the main sleeping area over here, main guest area. So you can see I have the bed pulled out and made. And then I did separate out the sectional a little bit and push this piece a little further back just to allow a little bit of walkway here. Yes, the, the bar is there still. And another option is we can actually move this whole piece and maybe stick it back there if they wanted more space to kind of get in and out of bed but it also sort of offers a side table if they want to like have their phone or a book or something there so that's kind of up to them and then we have a day bed over there all set up and then i did tuck that chair there it's not usually there but i like offering another place for someone to sit other than the bed if they want to sit and again write on a surface or charge their phone or something we have some outlets there's a power strip behind there so they can charge whatever devices they would like to charge and then everything here is set up and again i do have to bring down two mugs to put there and the sugar. I forgot the sugar. So that is all of the sleeping space. And then of course, back here we have the bathroom. 
all ready for them. Let me put a light on. Shower curtains are all washed and the shower mat is washed. We just hung this little shelf on the wall so it's a little bit off the floor and I will, I have a little soap under there but we will, I don't really honestly know what else I could put there since we've offered them so many toiletries and then we have basket of toilet paper here. So I don't know, they even could put their own, you know, toiletry bags or things like that. They have a spot to put it down. Since we do have a pedestal sink, it's not a huge surface to put down items, but we also do have the little ledge where the window is that can be utilized as well for hanging things. So that is the bathroom. So I think that is it for this basement guest room refresh. We are ready to receive our guests and hope that they are comfortable and enjoy staying here with us. We're so excited to see them. But thanks so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care guys. Bye.